Hi everybody, Levi Clay here, and in today's video I'm going to be giving you a tutorial on how to use nested tuplets in Guitar Pro 8, one of my most requested features in Guitar Pro 8, so it's nice to see that they have finally included it and I can put this issue to rest, which is a good feeling. Uh, if you haven't checked out Guitar Pro 8 yet, I would of course recommend checking out some of my other tutorial videos and also my review and overview of the software. And if you do feel the need to pick up a copy of Guitar Pro 8, there is a link in the description. It is an affiliate link, so purchasing Guitar Pro 8 via that link does support the channel, which is a great thing to do. And there is still a good deal to be had on the upgrade price. So if you're a Guitar Pro 7 or 6 user and you want to upgrade, Check out that link in the description and get yourself one hell of a deal. Right, I'm going to jump on over to the software now and walk you through what a nested tuplet is, why they're important, why we would absolutely need them, and how to actually implement them in Guitar Pro 8. Let's take a look. Okay, so here I am in Guitar Pro 8. I have uh, pre-recorded an audio track and I've loaded that into Guitar Pro. And it's a good example of somewhere where you might need a nested tuplet. So uh, let's take a, just a quick listen to that so we understand what a nested tuplet is, and then I will show you how we're going to go about uh, notating that in Guitar Pro 8. So um, this example needs a nested tuplet. <laughs> So um, we'll talk about where the nested tuplet appears in that, but first of all, what is a nested tuplet? Well, um, many of you are probably aware a tuplet is a, a grouping of notes played in the space of another grouping of notes. So a triplet would be a type of tuplet. We are playing three notes in the space of two. Here's my quarter note pulse. One and two, and these are eighth notes. One and two and three and four. And a triplet would be three notes in the space of two of those. Uh, triple, 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 triple. So that's three notes in the space of two. Now a tuplet um, is a uh, an odd grouping. A nested tuplet is where we have an odd grouping. A tuplet within a tuplet, if you like. And the most common example of that would be a triplet within a triplet. And that's exactly what I've recorded here. So um, if we think about this uh, from a, a just a, a counting perspective, I'll slow this tempo right down. It's easy to have eighth notes. One and two and three and four and triplets also common one and a uh, two and a uh, three and a uh, four and a uh. but what if for each one of those triplet notes one and a uh, two and uh, what if each one of those was actually three notes instead of one and a uh, two and a uh, we'd have now that's actually a grouping of nine in the space of eight uh, 30 second notes the maths are silly on this um that we would just use a normal tuplet but what's a lot more common is to have a triplet one and a uh, two and a uh, one but to have a triplet on maybe that middle note. So one and a uh, two and a uh, one, da ka da 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 ba 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 Now that's our nested tuplet rhythm here. And there was no realistically no good way to notate that in Guitar Pro. Uh, Guitar Pro 6 or Guitar Pro 7, but we can do that in Guitar Pro 8, and I, I want you to uh, I want you to be able to really hear it. So um, let me let me play that rhythm for you. Uh, I've put it in this beat here. So I think if I highlight that, uh, if we reduce the speed on this to 50%. <laughs> This is clearly a triplet rhythm, right? Triplet, triplet. But we have a triplet on the mid, in the middle of that. One, one, two, three, one. One, two, two, three, three. One, two, two, three, three. This would be your way of counting through that. So that's a nested tuplet rhythm there. Um, and notating that would would always have been an actual problem in Guitar Pro Seven, and an actual impossibility. You have to do. A weird workaround that made your notation look silly it made it look like it was written by someone who was completely musically illiterate and you don't want to appear musically illiterate i think appearing high levels of literacy should be respected right so if we write this riff out uh, we jump back to the start 
I've put um, a swing marker in here because it's a, a kind of swing or shuffle riff. So our riff is going to be. Um, let's turn our overdrive down because that's a that's a bit much. Uh, we have bar. That's the first part of our riff. Let's uh, make the staccato. Let's bring up my mixer panel. Let's bring the level of this down so we can really hear the. Oh, whoops. Let's um, let's bring it up to eighty percent speed for you. This is all fine now. For our nested tuplet, we need to come over here and use these tuplet buttons here now. I can't zoom in on these, unfortunately, <laughs> but hopefully you can see. Here we have triplets. You can't right click on this. Next to that, we have tuplets. You can right click on tuplets and select twos, fours, fives, six, sevens, nines, tens, elevens, twelves, thirteens, and create any custom tuplet that you might need. That's a tuplet. The next button is the nested tuplet button. And unfortunately, when you when you hover over them, they give you the same information. They would imply they're the same things, but if you look at the icon, um, this one is essentially a lower triplet and this is an upper upper triplet, so a triplet within a triplet. So we're going to want to create a triplet, or at least this is I found to be the best way to do it. If we go in and, and create um, a triplet like this, so this is already using our triplet button here, I'm then going to make this note um, 16th note triplets, like that. Uh, yeah, 16th notes. <laughs> and then bit crazy i'm going to come over to the nested tuplet button i'm going to right click on the nested tuplet button and click the number three now what we have if i put the right notes in beam it correctly now what we have is a nested tuplet you flip it over like that um now we've got a triplet played inside of a triplet here's our triplet and it's played inside of a triplet um, how do I finish this? Yeah. Uh, ba, ba, ba. There we go. So this is the the rhythm that I had written out. The nested tuplet is incredibly important in in uh, in getting this to to play correctly. And uh, now, when I press play on this, it will play exactly as as written. <laughs> Boom, nested tuplets, done in Guitar Pro, done correctly. Now, I, like I say, this is probably the most common rhythm that you're going to find, you're going to see when dealing... I can't help myself, I want to put a key signature in there. This is the most common uh, nested tuplet that you're going to come across when dealing in um, uh, nested tuplets. But using this nested tuplet button over here, remembering that you can right-click it and create any sort of tuplet that you might need or any sort of nested tuplet that you might need, you should be able to see that this has opened up doors for you, and now hopefully you can put out transcriptions that you aren't embarrassed for people to see, because these are nested tuplets, and they work correctly. So thank you very much for the team over at Guitar Pro for fixing that. It's absolutely essential. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed this tutorial. Maybe you've learned something about tuplets or nested tuplets, and you now know how to do them in Guitar Pro, which is awesome. If you would like to learn more about stuff like this, and you want to support the channel, the best way to do that is to head on over to my Patreon page. You can be like these awesome people, get access to my weekly guided practice routines, my weekly guided ear training sessions, download hundreds of transcriptions that I've put up for those guys, um, everything from um, Brent Mason to Crazy Shred stuff. It's all there. Go and check it out. I'm sure you will enjoy it. And if that doesn't suit, you can also head on over to Amazon and check out one of my many books. I have lots of books available. Um, do support the channel. It is all very much appreciated. Um, get involved, hit that subscribe button, hit the comments, all of that good stuff. As I say, it's all very much appreciated. It really does help. Um, did you learn anything from this video? If so, let me know below. If not, I apologize, but I'll try, I'll try harder in future. Much love and I'll see you soon. Bye.